بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طبعا انا عندي الموضوع الثاني في الاستراتيجي فورميوليشن اللي هي كوربريت استراتيجي السكند سبجكت كوربريت استراتيجي فور كوربريت استراتيجي از وي جيت يوزد وي هاف تو جو فور سام ديفينيشنز اور نوت سام ديفينيشن سام كونسيبت Okay, for corporate strategy, corporate strategy, the choice of direction, the first keyword direction of the firm as a whole. So we have here two keywords, direction and whole. The choice of direction of the firms as a whole and the management of its business or product portfolio and concerns, right? Of the firm as a whole and the management of its Business or product portfolio, okay, and concern. Concern the three directional strategy for all over the organization, portfolio analysis for a business unit or for product, and parenting strategy. We will go a little bit in details for each. Again, corporate strategy is related to three key issues. facing the company as a whole. See, corporate strategy is related to three key issues, which is directional, portfolio, and, part, and parenting uh, strategy. These are the three key issues facing uh, any, or, any management in any organization, and the key word here is a whole. Right? For directional uh, strategy, The firm's overall orientation toward hmm, growth, stability, and retrenchment. What is your direction? What is uh, your organization? A, I mean direction as an organization. Maybe the orientation for you, maybe you will go for growth and expansion. Maybe you will, you will this stability means what you will stay as as it, or maybe you retrenchment. Retrenchment here means reduction. Okay, so which one you follow, right? If you go for <coughs> portfolio analysis, industrial or markets in which. The firm competes through its product and business unit. Again, for your business unit, or for only one product, or for only one branch, or for only one division, or for only one assembly line. Okay? Industries or markets, portfolio analysis, goes for industries or markets in which Landa e firm competes through. its product and business units okay <clears throat> for parenting for parenting strategy he said here something like you have to act like uh, uh, you are a father you are a father of all over business units the manner in which management coordinates activities and transfer resources and cultivates capabilities okay cultivate capabilities among the product lines and business units i mean it represents like you as a, what as a parent and you have your children children in all over business units and you must coordinate among them you must distribute activities You must distribute resources and capabilities among your children. Now here your children are product lines or business units or branches or divisions or assembly what <coughs> line. Okay? Anyway, corporate directional slide here. The gross stretches go for <clears throat> expand the company's activities for stability stands for make no change 
the keyword here make no change to the company's current uh, activities. Resetment strategies reduce the company's level of activities. So here is the general meaning of these three directional strategies. Okay? We go a little bit in details for the first one. Uh, merger, I mean growth strategy, concentration and diversification. Uh, don't go or don't, go, or don't uh, lose uh, the focus here that under growth we have concentration and diversification. Okay? For concentration, we have what we call it merger. Merger. And merger here, uh, <clears throat> we have just one keyword about what, about in which only one corporation survives in which only one corporation. These are two organizations. They go for <clears throat> make some sort of transaction involving two or more corporations, two or more organizations. And it's a stock is exchange, but in which only one corporation survive. I mean, maybe <clears throat> uh, one way for bankruptcy, whatever. For acquisitions, the purchase of a company, I mean, Acquisition, <clears throat> it is a more focus, more concentration that one company what ac acquire another completely, the purchase of a company, purchase of a company that is completely absorbed, absorbed by a division of acquiring corporation. I mean, they have to go for what purchasing completely, this is what the acquisition. And don't forget the story. It is one of gross, it's, he means he what? Achieved by taking what? Over a function previously provided by a supplier or distributor. Okay? I mean, we always give this example about uh, for uh, uh, salsa for, I mean, sal tomato salsa for an organization. If you take over a function previously, the provider is supplied, which is a farm, tomato farm, give you, I am manufacturing, and I have a tomato farm, supply me. If I go for <coughs> taking over the <coughs> farm, so we have what we call it, what, vertical growth. Okay, or sometimes you go for vertical integration. Okay, so here for vertical cross, taking over the function previously applicated before provided by a supplier or by a distributor. Vertical integration, the degree to which a firm operates vertically in multiple locations. I mean, I have. Uh, <coughs> Uh, factory of, I mean, tomato salsa in uh, Benha, and we have a farm in Tanta, so we have different what locations, so now we have multiple locations. If I go and uh, <clears throat> I make some sort of integration between me as a manufacturer and uh, this supplier for uh, tomato farm, all right? So taking over the function previously provided by supplier or by distributor, vertical integration, the degree to which a firm operates vertically in multiple locations on an industry value chain from extracting raw material, okay, raw materials to manufacturing to retailing, okay. And we have here two kinds of uh, uh, vertical integration, backward backward and forward, okay? As soon as a function, if I go, if I am manufacturing and, and I go backward to my uh, supplier and we have taking over this supplier, so it goes what? Backward, it is called backward integration. Assuming a function previously provided by a supplier. We have another forward integration, assuming the function previously provided by a distributor. 
again I am a <coughs> manufacturer and I go forward and make some sort of integration with my distributors so now we call it what forward integration distributor not supplier if I go backward so I make some sort of integration with supplier if I go forward I make some sort of integration with my uh, distributor right Done. What about horizontal growth? It is some sort of growth, all right? Some sort of growth. <clears throat> we have here to concentrate in uh, the keyword operations, not supplier, not uh, whatever uh, distributor but expansion of operations into other geographic location or increasing the range of products and service offered to current what markets and always we have this example about um, for um, something like uh, uh, cars or something like uh, motorcycle and bicycle they have maybe almost the same operation maybe you have for heater something for El Arabi, El Arabi Toshiba they have uh, some two products such as uh, uh, water heater and uh, techno gas I mean or techno whatever for uh, yes for uh, gas. okay all right they have the same almost the same operations for heat uh, boiled I mean for water uh, heater and for put gas the same okay so maybe make some sort of integration the keyword here expansion of operations expansion of operations horizontal growth is achieved through internal development acquisition or strategic what alliances because they make some sort of integration huh? the keyword in operations in operation horizontal integration the degree to which a firm operates huh, in multiple geographic location as a same point on an industry value what chain in manufacturing they have the same manufacturing process they have the same manufacturing operations right so whenever they make some sort of integration right <clears throat> don't forget the story that under gross strategies we have concentrations so it could be vertical could be horizontal and the other aspect under gross what we call it the diversification stretch and all of these under hmm, gross so again and again don't be confused gross stretches under gross stretch we have concentration under concentration we have vertical gross and horizontal what uh, gross right the second aspect under gross diversification okay diversification uh, here means uh, concentrate concentrate here uh, the keyword here related related gross into a related industry when a firm has a strong competitive position but attractiveness is low the example here uh, when a company acquire or develop new product or service closely related to its core competitiveness I mean core company or technology okay such as here when you have two companies one company for stationery and another company uh, go for paper just for uh, Xerox paper right I mean whenever you have a company they produce <coughs> stationery 
this company go and acquire another company for paper or sometimes uh, <clears throat> go for um, painting company painting company go for cement company because they are the keyword here is related all right i mean uh, stationery is related to paper to paper or producing paper here cement is related to whatever uh, painting okay see concentric the keyword here as i said related gross into a related industry so cement industry or related to painting industry a stationary industry is related to paper or xerox paper or copy paper uh, industry so related industry when a firm has a strong competitive position but attractiveness is uh, low i mean as we said in in cement it is not uh, attractive i mean the attractiveness is low right synergy another uh, strategy under <coughs> under uh, diversification the concept is that two business or two business units will generate more profit together than they could separately okay again when two business will generate more profit together then they could separately i mean this always uh, um, another example about uh, uh, synergy about uh, distribution organizations or distribution companies whenever a big company or distribution company can go and acquire small companies also related to distribution i mean the activity here is distribution so they said what when two business will generate more profits together then they could separately okay if each one go separately maybe this one will gain 100 profit the second small one gain 50 so both of them 150 if they make what we call it synergy strategy they both of them together maybe will achieve 200 more than 150 all right or more than one each so this is what another strategy type for <coughs> Diversification as a gross for diversification as a gross strategy, we said concentric or co <coughs> concentric. Okay, the other one it called it calls what conglo conglomerate conglomerate means here it is an alliance also, but the keyword unrelated. I mean, one company works in uh, in uh, automotive car industry, goes for books industry, or goes for uh, um, uh, dairy or milk uh, product industry. I mean, here you have some sort of growth, but and some sort also of diversification, but between unrelated. Here he said, what gross into an unrelated what industry in some cases management realized that the current industry is unattractive so firms go for <clears throat> when management realized that the current industry is unattractive maybe <clears throat> they go for uh, um, as i said for for uh, milky their world or milky products you have maybe maybe some of them they have a good financial aspect maybe uh, less risk okay so some of them they go for and to make some sort of alliances to get advantage from something like liquidity firms lacks <coughs> outstanding abilities okay 
or a skill that could easily transfer to related products or service in other industries. The key word here, in other industries, to get advantages of uh, maybe uh, administrative experience, maybe uh, liquidity, money liquidity, maybe, something like that. But the key word here, in conglomerate, that are unrelated diversification, unrelated companies, unrelated industry, automotive car and uh, food industry. They are different, they are unrelated, but you have some sort of growth. All right? We have to move for another corporate directional stretches. Don't get lost here. Don't confuse. Under corporate directional strategies, we have growth strategies, such as concentration and diversification. Another corporate direction strategy, which is stability. It's stability. It's stability means that uh, you will not have uh, no change, all right? No change in your uh, activities. Stability strategies, as he wrote here, he said, what? Continuing activities without any significant change in direction. Without any significant change in direction. Okay? Such as, he said, what? Both or proceed with a caution stretch. I mean, it is what? Temporary stretch. An opportunity to reset before continuing growth or restrictment strategy, okay? Until a particular, a particular environmental situation change. See here, they use this strategy until a particular uh, in, uh, environmental uh, situation change, okay? So they said pause, pause, right? Or no change strategy, continuance of current operations and policies, no change still for the current what operation. Maybe they have uh, enough profit, enough market niche, okay? He said what? Decision to do nothing new. A choice to continue current operations and policies for the <clears throat> foreseeable future. Seeable here means um, expected future. That for expected future, why we have to bother ourselves with something new? We have to stay as if, okay, or as if, no change stretch. Okay, no change is right. A choice to continue current operations and the policies for the expected future. Why? Because maybe they have enough for market segment or market uh, niche. Profit strategies, profit strategies to do nothing new in worsening situation, but instead to act as so the company's problems are only temporary. As I said, as, as so means uh, as if the company's problems are only temporary. Hmm? Right, I mean, uh, all of these are um, stability strategies. I mean, no change. We stop everything as it, as it, okay? For, uh, we move for retrenchment uh, strategies. Use the one, he said what? Use the one the firm has a weak competitive uh, position in some or all of its product lines from, from poor performance. I mean, they start to stop everything, maybe make uh, some reduction in our products, in our sales, in our activities, I don't know, but they go for 
what we call it retrenchment strategies. Okay. British strategies, <clears throat> he said what? For turn around the strategy for contraction, for consolidation, I mean, all of them, they are what? Uh, I mean, the, the main purpose here that you have uh, some poorly performing firms in mature industries, they want to improve their performance by cutting, by cutting costs, uh, by cutting expenses, and selling of uh, selling of uh, assets. Okay, selling of assets. Okay, all of them. They saw what turn around the strategy, emphasize the improvement of operational efficiency. When the corporation's problems are pervasive, but not uh, critical, right? Not uh, critical. Uh, sometimes we say, what? Stop bleeding. Stop bleeding. Okay? Stop bleeding in, uh, in cost. So they go for what? Their performance, improve their performance by cutting costs and expenses, right? Contraction means also reduction, effort to quickly stop the bleeding across the port, but in size and cost. Eliminating 1,000 jobs, close up five plants. These are examples, I mean, for stop the bleeding by how, okay, by eliminating some jobs, by close some uh, plants or some business units, whatever, okay. <clears throat> okay, so we have here, um, yes, about um, all of them about retrenchment, uh, captive, uh, captive company strategy. Company gives up, give up independence in exchange for security. I mean, they give up, they sacrifice some. Uh, of its independence, what for some safety performance uh, offering to be captive company to one of its longer customer to guarantee continue. So they go for uh, something like that uh, for go for long term uh, contracts uh, just uh, to guarantee what continues. Okay. Sell out strategy management can still obtain a good price for its shareholders and the employees can keep their jobs by selling the entire company to another what firm. Maybe the, like uh, in um, in air this, this always happened with uh, aeroplane uh, companies or uh, yes, aeroplane companies they can buy or can purchase uh, another what uh, company divestment uh, here when some companies uh, sell of division one division with low cost potential I mean something like when General Electric uh, they sold the um, something like TV uh, refrigerator um, air conditioning products to other companies, to other companies. Before it belongs to General Electric, but they start to uh, sell some of our of their products to another what uh, uh, companies. Or sometimes we go for bankruptcy. Bankruptcy companies gives up management of the firm to the courts in return to some settlement okay, of the corporation's obligation. Later it will be high <coughs> attractiveness. Okay? I mean they go to the court 
intake or whatever uh, bankruptcy just to decrease obligations to decrease obligations okay liquidation management <coughs> terminates the firm finish the firm industry uh, <coughs> and attractiveness okay so they transfer the assets they start to sell some assets so make some cash and distribute it uh, to shareholders after they pay their obligation okay I mean the, the difference between liquidation and bankruptcy that uh, <coughs> bankruptcy uh, before they go to the court okay before uh, you go to uh, the court anyway all of them they are uh, here some uh, very fast uh, examples about uh, uh, retrenchment uh, stretch okay <coughs> Time. if we move for portfolio analysis portfolio analysis here management <coughs> portfolio analysis help what in developing corporate strategy in multiple business firms multiple business firms multi multiple what multiple products multiple business units management here uh, the top management as an internal uh, banker business units and production line form a portfolio of investment to ensure a good returns in this stage the main purpose that business units and production line form what a portfolio of investment to ensure a good what returns it is related to product or business units okay management views its product lines and business units as a series of investments from which it expects a, board, a profitable return i mean suppose i have four business units suppose i have four divisions suppose i have four product lines okay which one will be or expect to be profitable to me okay maybe as i we said maybe for uh, to cheap or rv whatever a tv is a product or product line which is expect to be what the more achieve more what profit uh, return popular prof, uh, portfolio analysis techniques include what we call it uh, uh, bcg <coughs> in uh, bcg gross share sometimes we call it the bcg um, gross share mix the mean purpose the mean purpose before we go for question mark or stars before that the mean purpose of uh, uh, gross um, share matrix is to portray a company's portfolio of investment as we said each product or business unit is plotted on the meters according to two dimensions two dimensions one is gross rate in industry and the other dimension its market what share its market share I mean you have to plot your product or your business unit in which area I mean BCG matrix is divided into four divisions four sections four parts in north west we call it star in 
Northeast, we call it question mark in <clears throat> South West, we call it cash cow in South East, we call it dog. This is very easy to understand. If you make some characteristics for each section, I mean some characteristics for question marks, some characteristics for star, and you have to apply. Apply what? Is your business unit or is your product located in which area, in which section? In section of question mark or in section of star or in section of cash flow or in section of dog? You have to do that. So, as I said, you have first to know what are the features of the question mark or the feature of the star. Let us go for question mark. It is what? Locate here new products with the potential for success but need a lot of cash for development. Okay? Again, the features here about the product or business unit which is located in question mark, it should be new product with the potential of success but require a lot of cash for development. We always, um, we have the example here about uh, <coughs> the uh, electric, electricity car electricity car they need money must be taken from mature products why because in electricity car it is what it has some its potential success so we need money for or cash I mean for what to develop to develop to spend some money in R and D for this new product. So the key word here new potential of success and cash. What about star? In star market leaders at the peak of the product cycle and are able to generate enough cash to maintain their high market share and usually contribute to companies what profit such as whenever they start for iPhone iPhone in mobile industry it was leader so the, <clears throat> the keyword here peak of their product life cycle now it is in maturity level in maturity stage so they can generate enough cash to spend in other enough cash to maintain their high share of market all right for cash flow for cash flow for cash flow or cash cow i mean product that bring in far more money than it is needed to maintain the market share. I mean, in the end of maturity, in the end of maturity, they generate a lot of money, will be invested in the cost of other areas such as R&D, such as advertising. This happens when they move from VCR to DVD. When they move from VCR to DVD, they start to generate a lot of money <clears throat> in the late stage of life cycle. I mean, for the, at the end of maturity stage, they generate a lot of money. They have uh, <clears throat> now they are uh, constant and they generate a lot of money. This money will be invested in. R&D or R in, in advertising. In dogs, 
stage or in that uh, area, products with low market share and do not have the potential to bring in much cash, very bad products with low market share and do not have the potential to bring uh, in much cash. I mean, the management start to decide to sell off, okay? To sell off uh, maybe some product like IBM when sold uh, BC to Lenovo. Lenovo, so if they have enough, uh, whatever, enough uh, time, enough money for the other rest of uh, products, okay? We have some product like uh, IBM, what they did, they go for uh, BC and put it in dogs area because now they have <coughs> bring, they don't have the bring too much cash, so they sold all over BC to another company which is what uh, Lenovo. Here, uh, this is what the, um, the, um, the figure about uh, BCG cross share matrix. Here you will find some products in star area, in question mark, in dogs, in, in cash flow. Of course, uh, this portfolio analysis to your products or business units is a very important uh, because if they achieve some advantages and at the same time they have some sort of limitation something like some advantages that what they give you a big picture about or to top management to evaluate uh, all of your business individually and to set objectives and allocate resources for each i mean um, for question mark, maybe we can give more attention, more encouragement, more people, more uh, better uh, process, better uh, machines, whatever, right? Stimulate the use of externally oriented data to supplement management judgment. I mean, in this portfolio or in this figure of portfolio analysis, they, they give you uh, some sort of uh, simulation stimulate or encourage the use of data or to expand or to improve your judgment about products or business units. Also, it pays my, it pays my attention or a lot of attention about the issue of cash flow. Is this product can give me a lot of money, a lot of money available, okay? Maybe we have a lot of money to use in directional strategies such as gross or whatever expense or not. It gives you a, a better general, not general, a specific idea, opinion, judgment about each product you produce, about each business unit you have. Okay. Uh, it has, at the same time, it has some problems or some difficulties or some limitations. One of these or some of these limitations that uh, they define, <coughs> defining product or market segment is very difficult. I mean, you cannot make it separately about product or specific product or a specific market segment. Okay. <clears throat> Provides an illusion of scientific rigor when in reality position are based. I mean, something here would be something like uh, some fuzzy or unclear or ambiguous. Leak of clarity on what makes an industry attractive or where a product is in its life cycle. I mean, life cycle is, continu is continuous stages. 
You cannot uh, separately, accurately, between this stage and this stage. I mean, some sort of overlapping between uh, some stages in life cycle, right? But uh, anyway, it is very useful in uh,